It's day five and the first day of full pads at training camp here in Knoxville, Tennessee. The coaching staff continues to push limits and look for the guys who have stamina and energy as we continue in training camp. You know, we're not there yet. The first day of pads, you don't, you know, to expect that. Um, I think guys are hungry. We just got to fine tune some techniques and things like that. Defensive coordinator John Jancic says the first day in pads brings out game-like situations. However, he is still looking for progress. You definitely want to see, always see physicality, but really when you when the pads go on, you know, they become a little bit more nervous. So I wanted just to see how they could execute. You know, we're, we're, we're really playing football now instead of running around tagging off. So um, I'll be interested to see the film and kind of evaluate that. But I think um, by and large, I think the guys came out. We had a great attitude. They were enthusiastic. And um, I, I didn't see uh, too many mistakes on the grass. So I was it was encouraging. A fan of sudden change, offensive coordinator Mike Bajakian enjoys having practice at night. Night practices are, 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 there's always a little more energy. Uh, being under the lights, they've, they've been off their feet all day. It's a, it's a change of scenery to a certain extent. So uh, that's why I think there was a high, it, it was a pretty high intensity practice. There was a lot of intensity, a lot of passion. Um, and, uh, you know, it's always a good change up. I'm looking forward to coming back tomorrow night and doing the same thing. A veteran of the secondary, defensive back coach Willie Martinez says he enjoys the passion and eagerness of his players. When you've coached the secondary as long as I have, I mean, I'm kind of used to it. And, uh, uh, but I, I like I like the energy of the group. Um, uh, I like the guys. They come to work, and uh, it's fun. It's fun because they, they want to be coached, and uh, and they want to do well. So that's that's the fun part. Getting familiar with the new player skill sets. Wide receiver coach Zach Azani is throwing the guys in the fire. Here's the thing is there's no depth chart right now. I know what the other guys can do because they had 15 practices to show me and I got 25 days to find out if anyone else can do it. So rather than waste time, I'm throwing them in the grease and seeing what we got. Despite the pace of long days with night practices, our Tennessee Vols are making the most of each day of fall camp. In just 25 days, they will kick off the season against Austin P. So stay right here for more information and the latest details on the Tennessee Vols. For Vol Report, I'm Sarah Mitchell.